Hello again, everybody! We are here. This is uh, me, Dr. Kendo, of course, but I've also got a special guest, Steph of Anime. And so thank you for being here. Oh my you uh, God. probably obviously noticed what's very obvious is that we are in a, a Team Skull cosplay because we're at PAX East and doing a cosplay for the day. And so what's great about it is the cosplay fits what we're creating. Mm -hmm. So if you're obviously looking at the title of this video, it's the Team Skull Grunts and uh, yes. I'm the male grunt and you're the female, as that makes sense. I mean, yes. I could be the female grunt. Hey, crossplay. <laughs> hey, crossplay. That's a thing. And uh, so, of course, in Scribble Knots here, we're going to start off with a basketball player Ooh. as the source object. And to me, it was funny because I had to, of course, look for something with like this tank tank top look or whatever but I, I like that the basketball player has the white line nice. already on the collar right there yeah. and so that was kind of one of the many things I guess that makes me pick that as the source mm -hmm. start character or whatever tempo is this guy right here that's one of Maxwell's uh, brothers he's got you know 42 family members or whatever in this game yeah. and so they often have the kind of skinnier arms that already have hands you don't have to use any extra stamps or anything like that so mm -hmm. you can see that and it's got these wristbands already on it you see how i've colored it nice. right now yeah that's awesome and so uh this right here making his shorts on the team skull grunt cool. right there that's the golem and we took the little yeah. back upper thigh the thigh mm -hmm. piece of the golem so it's in the back though and a minus sign right now because the team skull these guys are funny because they're like so thugging but like they're kind of a he's kind of a skinny guy you know yeah. what i mean so like his legs are very small mm -hmm. little minus signs so uh that works for that and of course now typing in a uh, the moon shoes this kind of works for like a high top slash like sneakers Very thing cool. you know because they have the high yeah. white shoes i love that it's moon and shoes so, yeah moon <laughs> shoes that's the best. sun and moon am i right hey um, that's good that's but good. yeah and so a glow stick we're gonna paint that nice. white this can be a nice little stripe down his shorts it is very cold in Boston, by the way. So just when you look at our cosplay, you know, we're not exactly like the Team Skull yeah. people, like in the every single little detail or whatever. Uh, so that's why I want to mention I am, you know, like wearing a white sweater, for example, yeah, just because it's like black. we needed warm clothing. We need warm. <laughs> um, back to help. Scribble Nuts, though. <laughs> Steph, do you know what a nudie branch is? <laughs> or What? <laughs> it could also be pronounced in other, other, I guess, nationalities pronounce it in different ways. So yes. you might hear it as like nudie branch. But huh. basically, it was that little animal that popped up on screen. Yeah. It looks kind of like this sea slug type Ooh. thing. And we took an antenna part of it and uh, used that to be... There's white lines above and below on the wrist yeah. band right there. And so those were those nudie branch pieces or whatever, how you mm. want to pronounce it. And so we're kind of coming together here. It looks like the, the Team Skull guy is, is all made up here. So this is, of yeah, course, the good. grunt male body. And uh, adding the last little details on the shoes here, because there was there was a little bit more stamp space. Mm -hmm. But um, one thing, of course, about Scribble Knots, and I've said this to Steph yeah. many times, but any new viewers will not know, is that Scribble Knots Unlimited, you you know, you can place all these little things, and that that's a stamp. So when I'm putting down a nudie branch or like a yeah. golem piece, you know, that's all a stamp, each one. And so the game has a limit to how many stamps you can put on one creation, and so that's why it doesn't have a head right now. We're going to create the head as an entirely separate object in the game and then put them together. Mm -hmm. So you're about to see that process come together. And uh, we've got a few minutes, uh, a few seconds, I should say, left. And so, um, Steph, I just I want to, you know, again, thank you. But uh, the other thing was to to plug that you have been streaming a lot of Sun and Moon. I, I figured this is a good kind of first touch for for promoting your streams Aww. and stuff. Um, but you stream a lot during the week and uh, that's on Twitch. Yeah. So. We'll be, we'll be having links in the description and probably somewhere throughout this video, but Yay. it's twitch.tv slash Steph of Anime. Check it out if you like so. Pokemon. <laughs> Thank doing you. doing a lot of the Sun and Moon stuff. So. He does cool stuff, though. <laughs> we'll so now at the right place. <laughs> we'll now get back to the Scribble Knots creation here. We've got a head as the source object for our Team Skull male's head here that we're going to put on the body after it's done. Uh, so on the top, the cap was a road hump, <laughs> out of all things, and I just painted all the way white to be his. I think mine is also right a road there. hump. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> and um, the bandana's a bandana, so that was pretty simple. Uh, it's weird because Scribble Knot sometimes is like, do you do the obvious stamp, like a bandana for a bandana, or do you use a road hump yeah. for like a hat? You know, it's yeah. like it, it's a, it's a give and take. What but, is a better um, answer? Well, <laughs> why say you could use a hat when you could use a road hump? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> but this is jellyfish. Uh, there's like Ooh. a tentacle piece that kind of makes it a straight 
line looking part and so it's like near the jellyfish's body you can actually grab just a little black line like mm. that so that's giving me a lot of the features for these eyebrows being a little bit more angry on the team yeah. skull and then the nose right there was done with the jellyfish Me's pieces business. yeah look at him he's all thug yeah. um and so i've got hemispheres for the white part of his eyes down there and uh, as well as the eyelid that would be it's on our left side as viewers but uh it's team skull guys his right arm his right eye sorry and uh dots for the little color in there a nursery fish fin for the other eye um but here's a this is interesting i was talking to steph earlier yeah i used this tornado piece <laughs> to be his hair coming through you know so we actually just took a bottom part of the tornado right that's there and that's his cool. hair coming through oh, that's <laughs> awesome. and of course an ear over that mm -hmm. so the that's obvious cool. that that's time very awesome. um but there's a glow stick once again, and the glow mm -hmm. stick is another good shape if you want kind of a line, but not as thin as the jellyfish type line yeah, or whatever. Like a different and thickness, yeah. That's exactly, cool. and length, I would say, probably. Yeah. Um, and marshmallow is going to be the teeth. So Ooh. that glow stick makes the little white part of the bandana, Yay. yeah. And then the marshmallows for the teeth. Very and cool. we're getting near the end here. We got a minus sign to kind of finish that off right there on the bandana. Mm -hmm. Look at good. I like this team skull guy, but he's got to have the skull eyes, you know, yeah. on his on his headband thing. It's so very necessary. <laughs> the most important yeah, part of right? all of it. <laughs> And so we'll do that, of course. There's another golem oh, thigh piece I once again. Them. We actually use two of them because the thigh piece has a little curvature at the top of yeah. it. And so I actually did two of them facing in opposite directions uh -huh. right there for the first eye. And then the other one is going to be sort of a curled eye, as you can see on our cosplay yeah. even, or if you're looking at a reference image. Uh, and so to do that, I, I kind of played around with a lot of things. But ultimately, you can go with, like, you can type in devil. There's also a little uh, random library of shapes that has, uh, you know, just a whole bunch of body mm -hmm. shapes in this game. And so I just grabbed it from the fifth page. It's cool. kind of the equivalent of grabbing a devil, typing yeah. a devil and grabbing the arm. So I just painted that black for the other kind of curvy yeah. eye in there. So this is very important. In the properties editor, if you want your head to sort of match on the body where it should go, fill in that last circle down uh, one, from the, one from the bottom. It says, can be worn on the face like glasses. And so there's like an equipment tab specifically yeah. in that properties editor that's where you want to be check that off and uh steph i i had told you about this too to try to make the the skull necklace i was thinking you know i'm, I'm running out of stamp space here how am i going to yeah. do it and so ultimately we went with a glue to start off the source object and we're literally going to glue it on our hey, team skull character hey, that's the best. so it, it, it's it's straight up gluing it but that's um, awesome a dot is sort of like the main roundness yeah. of it and you can paint that dot with the metallic -y silver mm -hmm. or like if you want to make it white like this. Yeah. You know, Steph and I were actually talking about that, right? In yeah. the game, they're white, right? Yeah, in so the... I think uh, anyway that the, in the game it's a more whitish with a silver tint. Mm -hmm. But a lot of cosplayers, as you can see here, like I got this from a cosplayer and she made it silver. And a lot of cosplayers mm -hmm. in the community make it silver. So whether it's gray, white, silver, yeah. off-white, who knows? <laughs> it's a Team Skull necklace. Of course. Yeah. And so just used a whole bunch of stamps. They were all on screen just now as we were talking about that to kind of just fill in. The, the advantage to making that necklace was mm -hmm. we could use any other stamps and just paint them all the way black and no other details show up on the stamp. Yeah. So if you're typing in something in Scribble Knots and it's like got some weird colors or details that you don't want, if you paint it all the way pitch black, it's not going to show up. And so that gave us the ability to kind of make that necklace awesome. and play with it how we want to. And yeah. So now it's time to move on to the female uh, skull grunt because you saw we did put the male head together with the body, you know, mm -hmm. using that script that I did. We'll show a little bit more of that later when we apply yeah. it to the female grunt here, which is a ghost hunter, specifically, Ooh. of course, the female ghost yeah. hunter as a source starting awesome. character. Uh, a source character, you know, that you start out with never means that it has to be like if you start out with a devil, it doesn't mean your character is the devil. Like, yeah. so you start out with anything that sort of gives you a, a good look to start out with especially on the torso because you can't get rid of a torso of a start starting character yeah. and so that's a big part of picking it but there's a lot of factors that go into it so here for the team skull female grunt uh she has the same arms for the male we gave the tempo mm -hmm. tempo arms like last time but we did go with a shark pup for some details there on the shorts and the monk fish nice. This is also going back to the male. We didn't speak about this, but I'll say now. That's really creative. Yeah. I just saw that come together. So did you see how yeah. basically it was a monkfish piece of fin, wow. but one of them was white, 
that went behind yeah. and then we layered another fin on top that's of it that's a little crazy. smaller that's I black the, i don't know if the video <laughs> saw that my eyes widened with You're realization like, huh? like <laughs> that's i just how saw did that it. happen <laughs> Wow, that is crazy. So it's actually like four stamps to get I that thought, kind of X shape on I the shirt. I saw a preview image, like, guys. I didn't get to yes. see how it was made. I saw a preview yeah. image and thought that was some kind of like V like shape. Yeah. Thought, wow, that's cool. You can try to type in an X in the game, like yeah. to literally type in the letter X and try to um, move it horizontally. Yeah. But I didn't like how it was really thick. It yeah. had really thick. And so like the characters in Scribble Knots are often smaller than their yeah. sort of like real counterparts in the real world and so or the game world that they come from and uh, anyway we got the moon shoes again for her and uh, you can get any kind of straight arm shape it could be a glow stick it could yeah. be any sort of straight line to be the socks underneath those moon shoes nice. and the legs for the girl this time i didn't go with the minus signs i wanted mm -hmm. to go with something a little bit better that would fit with all yeah. this so i just typed in edwin that's another one of maxwell's family members <laughs> you must know the whole and family by now i basically can <laughs> rattle off all the names like a poke rap or yes. something but uh and so edwin is like this farmer guy but i used his legs basically and uh, that out of context is very you, weird <laughs> Nobody closed their eyes and listened to this, but <laughs> okay. notice that the skull female, of course, her shorts have the like ragged yeah, um, kind of jaggedy lines or whatever right there. And yeah. that was grass in Scribble Knots. Mm -hmm. I typed in grass to get that yeah. jaggedy look to it. Um, yeah. And so anyway, we've got the head coming up now. Again, a golden egg is kind of that main piece of the head. It's yeah. round. It's got the little chin almost on it. And yeah. so it's, it's a nice overall shape that we can put. We're going with the road hump again, hey. Steph, <laughs> to be the cap yes, right there. it's perfect. I would say definitely the, the female grunt's head was harder to come up with things that would would work out, I guess, to be accurate. You know, yeah. like for me, it was a matter of getting the hair right. And mm -hmm. you're going to see that I, I used something pretty interesting. Ooh, but... I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Cliffhanger. Um, so we just typed in a uh, Grenadier. It's like a you can grab the fish if you type in Grenadier, Grenadier, like it comes up with a person, a bird, or a fish. And so I click the fish and grab the fin for the first eye on her cap. Cuttlefish then, or you can also use those nudie branch pieces or whatever, anything like that for the other eye. Yeah. Um, I specifically went with cuttlefish. We've got hemispheres for the top of her eyes right there, and they are a little bit darker, you know, so it's not the same color yeah. as the rest of her skin because she's got the eye shadow on there mm -hmm. and so then uh dots were for the white of her eyes down underneath Very and nice. that was interesting because then we have dots for the color as well in her iris you know it's pink mm -hmm. she's got pink eyes but i couldn't get a dot to go even smaller you can go with a pimple and that can probably make it small but what i liked was that when I looked at a reference image of the uh, character, I noticed that her eyes do have sort of a vertical nature yeah. in them. Not all the way. That would be like this, you know, like reptile eyes or something. Yeah. But like, you know, it, it kind of has this vertical yeah. slit that I thought maybe a cuttlefish, again, uh -huh. using that same like cuttlefish piece from the hat that we did yeah. uh, to be the eyes. And so they are behind the hemispheres covering up half of the cuttlefish. So it like oh, goes like, smart. I can never... I don't ever use webcam usually, so I can't like visually show people most of the time. So yeah. this is kind of nice to be yeah. able to gesture. Uh, so for the hair, Steph, this was this is looking this cool. was wild, and it's still being edited, of course, but like because it needs to be rotated yeah. in the way that it you know it all needs to come together. But that's kind of three main pieces for that side of her head uh, for the hair specifically, and it was Cupid wings on the bottom, and then mm -hmm. angel wings for the second little piece. And then oh. very on the top, she's got a little spike coming off. That was that grenadier fish again, the same fin piece yeah. that we used for the hat, just all painted pink like that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get the other side of her hair once we've got everything else kind of made first. Jellyfish tentacle pieces again can be the lines on the eyebrows and the nose details. Yeah. And uh, it is coming together though. You're kind of seeing how it can yeah, be visually like good. what it is. The marshmallows again, the bandana. glow stick for the for the lines. Yeah, for the bandana. That's great. And so that last hair piece was another angel wings nice. piece. It looks so. great. It looks pretty accurate. Looks more accurate than my wig does. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. And so again, the equipment tab, you're going to want to go for that for your head object. So just yeah. make sure you have that scripting down. And so <laughs> here, here's kind of an example of what it looks like when you're trying to put these all together. Now you're going to notice, look at how high her head up. Yeah. It's not matched on the body. So when that happens, and it does happen almost every time you do this like script combination for the head and the body separately, mm -hmm. I went into Scribble Knots now and edited on the object editor the torso, specifically the body. Mm -hmm. And you can see these green grids that show yeah. like all the different pieces of your character. Well, those green grids, I just took the where the head would be uh -huh. and moved the grid for that down some because you saw 
her head was like floating. Yeah. But now, now look perfect. at it. It's like where it should be. You know, she has a wow. neck. You know, it's like oh, she's she's doing what she should. And I like that this male team skull member is even like a little bit hunched over. And so yeah. is she like they're kind of hunched doing their little yeah. like <laughs> ghetto Good old thing. Oh, look at that. It's push a push <laughs> that was perfect timing. There's a Dr. Kendo uh, guy right there that's a team school yes. wannabe over there. He's trying to be as cool. So, in a past episode, Steph, I created the Spring Man from ARMS. Uh-huh. So, if you see him on screen right now, that's the Spring Man that comes from the game ARMS. That's awesome. And so, I was like, why not take a past creation to kind of fight these Yeah, thugs? he's got loose. And so, he's going to fight them at PAX because we're at PAX. And, we uh, can finally <laughs> fight at PAX. <laughs> and My you life get to fight again. Is complete. And so, he's. Uh, of course, bringing it to him, I think he probably in real life would be stronger than the Team yeah. Skull guys. He's got big, huge arms, and unfortunately, he has totally wiped out the Team Skull oh, female grunt. No, she's so wrecked. I'm so sorry, but her head is still there. She's like, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> her head is like laying there. I'll we'll have my revenge. And I accidentally, I, I, I actually was holding a Pokeball that I had custom created yeah. a long time ago, and I threw it at the arms guy and damaged him <laughs> in the back. That's awesome. And so now the male is like, yo, you killed my, yes. my female dude and so there they are in the look comparison at picture pretty <laughs> accurate guys so. that's intense so yes a good look at wow. both of them it looks so I, I good i take it you like it oh it's so awesome man <laughs> oh, thank it's you so good look at it i mean it's so oh. accurate that's great so we'll just say i guess once more um steph of anime is the uh, twitch.tv slash steph of anime and um yeah, you just catch your streams for a lot of the Pokemon Sun stuff. You guys will but... probably see Dr. K around a lot, too, so you get the best of both worlds. <laughs> well, Good thank stuff. you. Yeah, that and was so, awesome. I'm most impressed yeah. definitely by, you know, what you did for the crosses there. That was like, <laughs> um, the that, was, that, that was like a mind-blowing thing. Where it's just like, what are you doing there? Like, I thought you were making them too thick for, at first, and I was like, oh, you're going very thick for the... Oh! Yeah, <laughs> it cool. all came together, fortunately, cool. and so... Um, I guess the last thing is just we did go around in cosplay here today at PAX and it was pretty crazy because we had on one hand a lot of things to do but also like we had big things of free time so like there was a kind of it was a weird day but ultimately people responded well to us and I was throwing signs at everybody just (laughs) being ghetto and uh, Steph helped me with some eye makeup so anybody that's new here I usually don't wear guy liner <laughs> this is it's a very new best. look for me um, but so thank you for that it's the best that'll be the image forever ingrained in anybody new but... they're gonna love it they'll be so drawn to your beautiful eyes <laughs> You flatter me. Um, wrong. <laughs> and so I, of course, upload this series every Sunday. Come back next Sunday for another creation. And I guess we'll leave it there, but we'll end off throwing some gang yeah. signs and say, thanks for viewing. Okay, I'm going to say three, two, one, start. And so on start, I'm going to hit this. Okay. Right. So three, two, one, start. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the laptop, not on the... Okay, three, two, one, start. And sit down the road up, twists and turns, always anxious to see.